What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Ferrari Maserati of Orlando and I have the first 2021 Maserati Quattro Porte here on the channel and it's an S Grand Lusso. So the luxury model of the Quattro Porte. We're really going all out for the first one just how we did with the Ghibli. Now with that said, we're going to show you what this beautifully specced Quattro Porte looks like inside and out. I'm going to show you everything that's new for 2021 as well. I also want to show you what this comes with specifically because it's some pretty extensive options for this thing. Pricey but worth it in my opinion. Let's check this thing out. So before we go over the spec, the 2021 Maserati grille done for all of the models is now in a more 3D aggressive sporty look. All right so you have your black in the back for the slat. You have the chrome slat up front and then you have this vertical matte kind of insert inside of the grill here too. So it gives it kind of like a three layer, three piece feel and it's more aggressive again. It gives it more of a 3D look. So that's new for 2021. Also, these new tails, that's new for 2021. Maserati has redesigned their tail lamps and it gives it the boomerang effect with the nice red kind of LED going at the top and then the clear in the center and it looks really good against this blue Nobele metallic paint. So when you see it kind of off to the side, look at that. But really the Quattro Porte already had different style tail lights than the Ghibli sedan. So with that said, it was not like this as in style, but it was a different shape and contour to the rear bumper and trunk lid. So you kind of knew looking at the back of a Ghibli and Quattro Porte without seeing the badge, which one was which. Now this one gives it more of a unison look uh, between the two cars, but you're definitely still going to tell that different rear fascia of the Quattro Porte versus the Ghibli. Now let's get to this specific spec because these are the two new things on 2021's list is the front grille and those rear lights. Now let's talk about engines for a moment here because the Quattro Porte only has two different variants this year. All right. So with that said, you're looking at an either S or SQ4 model, which would be either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. And that model is going to automatically come with a higher output 424 horsepower engine, which is what you're seeing here with the blue V6 shield. There's no 345 variant like the Ghibli. And then your other variant is your Quattro Porte Trofeo. That means there's no more Quattro Porte GTS with that twin turbo V8. It's going straight for the big guns. No, this one here is going to give you the 424 horsepower with 406 pound feet of torque and a five seconds flat zero to 60 with 179 miles per hour top speed. So again, only two different variants for the Quattro Porte this year. This one here and the Trofeo. Now, obviously the miles per gallon for a twin turbo V6 is going to be decent, not the best. I mean, 24 miles per gallon city with 24 miles per gallon highway and 19 miles per gallon combined and you're only using premium fuel for these cars. Now, the big thing that makes the Quattro Porte more desirable over the Ghibli is because it's larger, but it also does supply a little bit more luxury than the Ghibli would standard, but that price is also up a little bit more standard. Now, speaking of its size, it's 4,818 pounds, so she's quite heavy, but she's no slouch with that twin turbo V6 engine, but she's also a little bit bigger as far as your wheelbase. So you're looking at 124.8 inches for this Quattro Porte and you'll really see it in the rear por portion of the vehicle once we get back there with the leg space. But now the Quattro Porte is a rarer model here because we don't get too many. Normally they're special order once we get them because of the fact that they're for a higher clientele. I mean these cars start at $104,000 base and the Grand Lusso here starts at $115,000 base. So with options on this, this is well over $120,000 for this car. And we're going to break all that down for you guys so you can see exactly what this costs and what the different options are and how much they cost. But for the Grand Lusso model, it's luxury. All right. Full matrix LED headlamps. Now, these headlamps are always different as they are from the Ghibli sedan. So if you notice the styling difference, that's it. It's not a change for 2021. It's just that these are different on the Quattro Porte, but they are still the full matrix LED headlamps. So you can see how beautiful those look. Also for the Grand Lusso models, you'll get that chrome horizontal slat that gives you a little bit more luxury feel to it. You know, just chrome and luxury. That's how it works out. Then you have the big Trident right here. That's going to give you all the technology for the level two autonomous driving systems. And you have the Quattro Porte front bumper, which gets you kind of an extra lip down here 
uh, for the front fascia. It just gives it a more aggressive look. But at the same time, it's classy and it's not too out there in your face. Now the Grand Sport Quattro Forte, that's a different ball game. So with that said, that Blue Nobele paint, tri-coat paint, is about $3,000. You're gonna see a lot of that sparkling in this. There's no way around it. Then for this spec, you have 20 inch Perseo wheels. All right, done in a platinum finish. The dark insignia for the Maserati script there. You also have the black calipers with the Maserati script in white. And these are Brembo brakes. So they are six piston Brembo brakes. With this one, it has the drilled rotors and you're not gonna see any Quattro Porte without drilled rotors because if you have an engine output, that is the 424 horsepower engine output and up you're going to get the drill disc this only comes with that so with that said the drill discs are with this and you have the grand luso badge right there underneath the portholes that you'll see that are a lot more lavish than over the ghiblis all right so these are more filled out they're more pronounced there's chrome all around i mean it looks really good and this was Maserati's flagship vehicle when it came out. So, I mean, this is supposed to be the car that really sets the standard and precedence for the Maserati vehicles all throughout. So I can see why they go the extra mile for the Quattro Porte. Now, with that said, chrome door handles, all right, chrome surround on the window moldings, and you automatically will get a sunroof for each Quattro Porte you see, but no panoramic roof, just a sunroof for these models. Now, heading to the back, we kind of briefly went over this, but the new boomerang tails again each time i get a chance to see these i'm definitely going to give them a look the big quattro porte script there and then you have the maserati insignia going across with the sq4 badge which lets you know that this is an all-wheel drive model with that q4 on the back then the rear diffuser you'll see is done also in the blue nobele all right so it is body matched to the rest of the car, all right? So you have a black plastic kind of piece going across here to break up the colors for the rear diffuser and the rear bumper. And then you have the quad exhaust, obviously on both sides. Um, yeah, this is a twin turbo V6 Maserati. So of course it's gonna make some noise. So of course we should probably make a little noise. <laughs> Now, before we go into the trunk, um, obviously the same key that you're used to for 2021. Um, so unlock, lock. You also have your trunk release and your remote start. Uh, beautiful Maserati key fob as always. Also keep in mind that there are four ways to open the Quattro Porte trunk. Uh, one way is on the main hub, on the headliner of the Quattro Porte, you can press the button there. Two, the old fashioned way where you can place your hand underneath the insignia and press the button here. Three is using the button on the key fob and four well this has the kick sensor trunk so you kick in and on your motion out down the center it opens right up just like that so there's a couple of ways to open it and there's a couple of ways to close it obviously you can press the button inside to close it as well you can press the button right up here to close it or close it and lock it for this car and you can also use the kink sensor to close it as well or use the key fob as well so four ways to open four ways to close actually there could be five ways to close because you probably could just pull it down if you would like to but remember i told you guys that we had some options that were going to be a little pricey but worth it this is one of them right here the quattro porte accessories i mean you get your car cover here in this blue quattro porte bag you get your maserati first aid kit here all right you get your maserati cargo net all right you have your maserati battery charger here as well all right you also have floor mats which comes with the car um you have your genuine accessories here all right you also have your um what is i think this is a cup holder or wait hold on hold on hold on hold on i think this is a ashtray sorry ashtray um for the quattro porte and you get two of them as well all right and then underneath all this you have a floor mat and you can see the maserati insignia there as well so there's a lot of stuff in here even a front plate mount kit so you can mount your license plate on your front of your uh, fascia there and yeah the battery is tucked underneath under here as well um i just don't want to i don't know if i can lift all this up with one hand but if i can try all right you guys can see you got a spare tire down there a battery a tire and plate kit and you have your jack and everything as well all the way back there so yeah and then you also have your 60 40 rear folding seats back there as well all right and a 12 volt plug-in with that cargo net right here just for a little bit of extra stowage 
But yeah, there's a lot going on in the back of this Quattro Porte, for sure. When you open up the door to luxury here, it's incredible. We'll get to that Cuyo interior in just a second. As you can see, dual pane glass windows. As you can see, no hinge preset for your doors. Open it and close it wherever you would like, just in case you need to inch out of it. And you'll notice that if I do that, soft closed doors, we'll pull it right in, all right? So with that said, we'll open it back up again, and you can see this beautiful Cuyo interior. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that is a Sabia Alcantara headliner and pillars, or if it's more of a gray. I'll have to look at the sticker, but right here, it looks more gray. Obviously, up there, it looks like Sabia, so we'll see. But Cuyo seats, all right, which is Maserati's saddle, um, and it's natural drill leather, perforated leather and is heated and cooled looks great as usual look at the stitching look at the patterns everything looks wonderful i always would love the stitch headrest um, i think it looks so much better with the stitch headrest but that's just me being picky also notice down below that might go over your head really quickly is that the new buttons on the side for the seat adjustables is now done with an aluminum and black insert finish again a big move from just it being plastic just helps give the quality look and feel for the 2021 models and this is not just on the quattro porte this is also on the ghibli and levante also take a look at your start stop button it's surrounded in chrome all right your lighting controls for your odometer there brightness and your lighting controls for your headlights and tail lamps and then underneath your little cubby hole that's always good for license and registration and insurance everything there just so it's easier to get a hold of you also underneath have your telescopic steering wheel so you have it done electronically there all right just hold that up hold that down so you can go down and up and move it however you need to now this quattro porte also has the electric pedals to where if i flick this switch you'll see that the pedals are now coming more towards me all right and they're coming all the way up as i hold it up and then once i hold it down you'll see that they go away from you as well so pretty self-explanatory but just had to show you that this had that option now before we jump into this beautiful spec you have the maserati side still done in aluminum and once we step in you'll notice the beautiful wood insert open pore radical wood trim all throughout the car but it's also in the insert of the steering wheel this is really a thing that goes with the quattro portes quite well so you'll see it on a lot of them now with that said you'll see that open pore wood trim all throughout the center here all right going over the infotainment screen going over the steering wheel all the way over to the side of the odometer there and you see the quattro porte logo right there on the very rear side now with that said you'll have a big slab right here in the center and it looks really good against this cuyo leather i wanted to open up the door because i want you to get the sun on top of this spec so you can just really see how well they mesh together nero leather up top with stitching the open pore radical wood trim and the chrome door handles for the ghibli you get aluminum for the trim this is chrome here same with the seat memory you get chrome around it instead of aluminum for the quattro porte and then paired all with this you get the cuyo inserts for the leather here all right the stitching going across here stitching going along with it here with the window switches door locks and everything there all right and then you have that harman kardon speaker at the bottom there so it's a really good look for all of this this is a great looking classy spec you get the same steering wheel that you're used to for maserati with the full leather steering wheel but again you have that insert there it looks phenomenal and you get the big italian paddle shifters that are column mounted paddle shifters as well yes you get the level two autonomous driving so you do see highway assist lane keep assist and everything there electric steering for 2021 just as it's been for the past couple of years for the maserati lineup and then again leather all throughout the whole dash is leather you got the chrome center going all the way across i love this integrated with the maserati clock this is what makes it different than the ghibli as far as the styling and the interior because the ghibli clock is right above here you have it all flush and integrated here it just looks so good with the chrome going all the way across and the wood trim going all the way across not stopping such a nice flow it's just really looks good and then we can't forget about the new 10.1 inch maserati intelligent assistant this is the new mia system 
4, 2021. We've done full videos over this. We've done the Hey Maserati videos where you can talk to this thing. It will give you hands-free. It will do anything you want it to, different profiles, all that stuff. There's so much to this. So I don't like to go over it um, in videos like this because it's just too much to dive into for a new system. So again, check out my individual video on the MIA system for the Maserati Ghibli because I did it for that. And it's the same thing for the Quattro Porte. So under this, you have your HVAC vents, dual zone climate control as well. And underneath here, you have wireless charging now for 2021, which is new. Also, which is new for 2021, is a USB-C port under here as well. And you have a USB 2.0. So they changed this up. Wireless charging, USB-C, and then USB 2.0 comes standard with you know Maserati's in the past as well. But that's nice too. So you can have wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, and you can have a USB-C port with wireless charging. Again, not new for everybody, new for Maserati. Now, that said, you have very nice flush cup holders with the little white trim around it and the chrome. You have your nicely wrapped leather and chrome dual track system for your shift knob here. So I can move it over and go into manual mode there. Drive here neutral here reverse and the parking brake right there or not parking brake park there <laughs> speaking of parking brake the parking brake will be here for the electric parking brake you also have your adjustable dampers here all right you have your sport, mo sport mode here which opens up those valves if you guys can hear that ice mode increase efficiency all right best used for highway or cruise control just to save that fuel economy start stop mode there all right that's your individual button to turn it off and on and traction off button that you would hold there with your hazards there nice leather boot with some stitching there as well and then this is for your mia system where you can toggle through the menus all right makes it very fluent for you to just go through things if you want to do that you can turn up and down the radio by using this here which is i just i just did press mute there to just quickly turn it off if i want to turn off the screen i can hold this down and if i want to enter my um you know different widgets and apps and everything on the mia system i would press this button not press this down which like you used to before but you press this button here so you can use this as a multi-function um, thing here you also have extra support for stowage there you also have extra storage in the armrest and you have some cup holders down there it will actually let you let some ac in once you flip this trigger here so it will keep your drinks cool um, whatever you put in there a little espressos or something i mean it's deep it's pretty deep but those cup holders are actually pretty small and then your lighter there all right and with that said looking up as we go up you can see that sunroof right there i wish we had a panoramic but none of the Ghibli's or Quattro Portes get panoramic. While we're up here, here's your hub where you'll have your home link, where you have your um, SOS button, where you can open up your trunk. You also have your sunroof controls, your parking sensors, dome light, everything right up here as well. And then with the new TFT screen, the new dials, the new odometer setup, this looks so much better with the new graphics, with the new look. It just really, really shows out here. I love the graphics. It's such a small change to some, but it goes a long way. And I'm glad that they did it. And I'm glad that they kept actual dials. I think the Ghibli Hybrid is all, um, I want to say all digital. I want to say it's all digital. I like the dials. That Me, myself, I do love the way this looks. Um, again, I'm very old school, but this just has a classier look to it, especially for the Quattro Porte. This is something that you're going to want to see, I think. I think the Ghibli Hybrid did the right thing with doing, you know, digital, I guess, you know, dials and everything there because it's more innovative. It's more about that. It's more electric and all that good stuff. Now, as I said about the rear, it's going to be the same flavor, but you're going to get a lot more space because of that 124.8 inch wheelbase. I mean, look at this. Look at how much space I have in this thing. I mean, I'm a full size 5'11 grown adult and I have so much leg room back here. It's just crazy. And I was sitting very comfortably up front. So that's really the big appeal for the Quattro Porte to get the bigger vehicle. Now you're going to get the same flavor as you did up front as you do in the rear. All right. Neo leather, the radical wood trim, the chrome. All right. The Cuyo with the stitching, everything like that. Harman Kardon speakers. All right. You do have a nice leather pouch here. Not a net, but a leather pouch that just looks that much better. And it hides whatever you put back here. So it's a little bit more, I guess, catered and more private. It's just, it's nice. All right. And then in the center here, the big thing that changes here really is the fact that you have a little stowage here, all right, and the fact that you have a nice little gloss screen kind of thing here. And I want to say screen because once you press a button there for the heated seat, 
it will light up. So there is a screen right there, but it's not a digital um, selection. But there is a screen for both passenger um, sides for the heated seats. And then the other buttons you're wondering, well, that's for your sunshades. So if I were to look back here and press one of those buttons, well, sunshade up, sunshade down. But they also can lift my sunshade here by just pressing up on the trigger for the window once it's closed already. And now I have a sunshade here as well. So sunshade on both sides of the doors and on the rear. Now with this, you still get your natural drill leather seats. All right, so they still look just as good in the rear with the same patterns and the same um, leather stitching and everything there. And then in the center here, you have a big armrest. All right, so this armrest, once you open it up, will actually give you a USB charger right here as opposed to the Ghibli where it does not give you one at all. You also have a 12 volt back here which in the Ghibli you do not have that at all. So with the stowage here you get a nice little setup for your charging and everything there. And then this very non-practical uh, cup, cup rest, I don't know, the cup holders, whatever. I don't know what you want to call this. It's doing a little too much. I understand on the split armrest but this is doing a little too much. Uh, as you can see, it's 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 not too practical for me, but again, I guess they were trying to show out a little bit, flex a little bit. Um, I would have rather it have it on a Ghibli where it's just opened up automatically once you put it down, or maybe like a little door to go over it, but the flip thing, it's a little much for me. Here we are. This is it. The price. Well, for this Blue Nobele Cuyo, MSRP $115,890, and that's the SQ4 Grand Lusso starting price. After you add a few options on it here, oh, let's zoom in there. All right, you're looking at a total price of $123,599. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice price with that. Now, what makes it that price? Well, before you add the $1,695 destination charge and the $300 preparation and delivery, then you're talking about stuff like your shift paddles on the steering column, which is $550, your full natural drill leather, which is $1,100, your tricoat blue nobelli paint job, $2,950, and your 20 inch per sale silver tires, $400. Now, you also get that $714 accessory pack, which gives you all that great stuff we saw in the trunk, like the indoor car cover, like the first A roadside kit, the battery ch charger there, the QP luggage mat, and the QP compartment net, stuff like that. So, you know, all that stuff, I, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. I would do it still, no matter what. Now, this is your standard options for the 2021 QP uh, Grand Lusso. Again, the Grand Lusso is going to come with a few more things standard, which is why the price is higher. So just make sure you take a good look at all this stuff because it's a lot of stuff to talk about. But for uh, full LED tails and headlamps, um, you have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto standard, wired and wireless. All right, you get stuff like your Harman Kardon sound system, um, HBZF, Skyhook suspension, limited slip diff. I mean, lots of stuff comes standard with this car. Um, I mean, anything that comes standard with the regular Quattro Porte, it's going to come with that plus on this Gra uh, Grand Lusso model. So make sure you take a good look at that. But that's it. What do you Always before we go, we'll do one more spin around with the full matrix LEDs fully illuminated. All right, so you do see the turn signal there. In amber with the switchback LED in the bright white look, you have the full matrix LED headlamp there. All right, and then coming across, you'll see the amber turn signal in the mirror. All right, for the side view mirror. And then the boomerang tails, you'll see that completely lit up as well with the turn signal there as well. Now what I really want to do is a full nighttime video on these lights. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that so you can see what they look like illuminated with the fog lamp in the back that's in the corner there and with the brake lights on, all that kind of stuff. I did kind of go over that with the Ghibli um, just quickly, but it was in the daytime. So let me know if you guys want to see that as well. But again, just want to show you guys what this looked like for 2021 when done up. All right, guys, so let me know. What do you think about the first 2021 Maserati Quattro Porte S2 hit the lot? Let me know down in the comments below because $123,000 is a big chunk of change, but is it worth it for this beautiful Quattro Porte? I mean, extra space, the paint job, the different materials. I mean, it really kind of flexes its muscles. So I want to know what you guys think about it. Now, definitely drop that comment down below. And if you did enjoy this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Once you give it a big thumbs up, it helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on the 2021 Quattro Porte as Grand Lusso. Now, with that said, if you guys want to 
further help support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. You can also check out the Patreon, be a monthly subscriber there. Or you can check out the Ron's Rise merch, get hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, everything Ron's Rise. Check that out as well. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. See all my social media there. And you can follow me or subscribe to the channel. But after you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss one Ron's Rise video. We got more good stuff coming for this year. So with that said, be blessed, have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.